What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. One story, two questions, let's go. And this is a pretty big story and it's a hands-on with Samsung's newest device that will most likely be coming out. Probably not with the Galaxy Z Fold 5 because we know the orientation and things like that, but there is a little bit of Z Fold 5 information in there. But this is a new 360 degree folding phone, meaning it can turn like this or this and everything in between, kinda in between. But this came from The Verge and I wanna show this off. They got some hands-on time. Samsung display shows off a new folding phone hinge that can rotate 360 degrees. In this first photo, you can see it's plugged into the charger and it's, um, folded the opposite way of generally what we're used to with the Galaxy Z Fold line. And this again would be the 360 hinge. And this is, I don't know, I can see this being kind of cool, maybe gimmicky, but I mean, I don't know. It might be actually kind of cool at the end of the day. Um, and then here's another photo showing it traditionally folded how we're used to seeing these Samsung phones. Um, but everything about the phone, when you're just looking at the screen, have it be folded in either direction, it looks like a Galaxy Z Fold phone. It just looks like it has a 360 hinge. And then here it is folded completely backwards, but both sides touching each other. Now they don't show us what it looks like on the other side, but you can imagine um, maybe watching a video on one side or looking at a picture, you know, multitasking, doing whatever you want, maybe playing a game so that both people can see each side of the screen at the same time. Um, that would be quite interesting. But the one thing I do want to say about this is that the Galaxy, this is obviously Galaxy, Samsung Galaxy Fold type technology, 360 hinge, folding backwards, frontwards. And this potentially, because there's rumors, and I already did a video on this, this might be the same hinge that the Surface Duo Fold ends up using. Who knows, because they were trying to do a little something different versus everyone else. This might be something that they end up doing for their folding phone when it's released either the end of this year or sometime in 2024, but we're not done. Galaxy Z Fold 5, we talked about it having a new hinge, and this is what it's going to potentially look like. We saw this really flat, thinner, wider, display when it's, and it's when it's closed. You can see at the bottom, that's the one that I am talking about in terms of what the Fold 5 should look like versus the Fold 4 on top, which would be another big selling point to have something thinner when it's closed, but it's gonna be wider, but something thinner overall and potentially a little bit lighter as well on that Fold 5. Your question of the day is, what do you think about this Galaxy Fold 360? Does it entice you at all? Does it get your blood going? Well, let me know in the comments down below. For me, I'm definitely interested in it. Um, I can also see it being a little bit gimmicky, but at the end of the day, if it works well and it and the software is integrated well with it, I'm totally down for that. Without further ado, let's jump into the Q&A portion of the video. All right, first question of the day comes from Wesley, and he's basically saying that he has had the Note series since the nine, and he always gets the bigger model. He tried the Flip 2, didn't like the size or the specs, uh, wanting something different this year and was thinking about trading his S22 Ultra in for the S23 Plus. Am I going to be disappointed with the specs on the Plus model um, as I was with the specs on the Flip 2? I'm thinking about buying my phone outright though. Samsung does Samsung give you a trial period on your phone. Yeah, they do give you a trial period if you buy it through Samsung. It's like two weeks, no, no. As long as it, you didn't damage it uh, and you return it within the 14 days, uh, you will get your money back. I can, I will be very shocked if you get, have the 22 Ultra and you move down to the 23 Plus and you like it more. That would really surprise me. I would say don't even bother doing that. If you want something different, I keep saying it, the Fold 4 or Fold 5 would be the phone to get. Um, since you have the 22 Ultra and you're seemingly okay with it right now because you're gonna go to another similar type phone potentially with the S23 Plus, I would say wait for the Fold 5 to come out. Get that if you're a Samsung guy or look at the, 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 the Pixel Fold or the new Surface Fold. Uh, but ultimately, I think the Fold 5 will probably be right up your alley. That's the one I would choose. Otherwise, I don't think the 23 Plus is worth going to. And our last question from Mr. Baker. Have you had your SIM in the phone since buying it? Could you uh, see yourself legitimately using it in the US? So he's talking about uh, the Oppo Find N 
2 phone. Um, no, my main SIM has not been in this phone and um, I probably won't move over to it. I do like it. I'm gonna compare it against the Fold uh, 4. Uh, but that's all I'll say right now. So no, it hasn't been in it and it won't go in it, but it is a really, really cool device. Thanks so much. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below. Hashtag question. We'll see you down the road. Peace.